Hey Body Geeks, welcome back to The Daily 15. This is a series of videos geared toward beginners for developing a more consistent Pilates mat practice by doing at least 15 minutes of Pilates mat a day for 30 days. Today we're not going to add on any new exercises and I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit with respect to the variations and the tempo. So let's see what happens. Swing your legs around to one edge of your mat, hold on to the backs of your legs, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, round your back. Stay back there on your inhale and then exhale, come right back up, keeping the shape of your spine. And then once again, inhale to go back, probably to the length of a straight arm, exhale to pause, inhale to come up and exhale to pause. And then repeat, back on the inhale, exhale to pause, keep the shape forward on the inhale, exhale to pause. Let's go two more. Keep thinking of bringing your whole head away from your spine, making space. And this time we'll go all the way down. Inhale to go back, exhale to pause. Reach the arms up and then roll all the way down. Stretch your arms over your head, reach your legs long. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, lift your upper body and reach for your feet. Inhale, reach your arms up and then exhale, lower back down. Do that again. Inhale, pause. Lengthen your upper body, exhale to lift up. Inhale, lift the arms, and exhale, lower down. Two more times, inhale to pause. Upper body goes away from the lower body as you lift up on the exhale. Pause for the inhale as you lift your head even further away from your spine, and then exhale to go back down. One more time, inhale to stay, exhale to lift. Inhale to two-way stretch your body, and exhale to lower back down. Bring your arms down by your sides and press into the mat. Squeeze your legs together and begin to drag your legs back up your mat. Maybe walk your feet one at a time. Then take another breath in and draw both legs up into your chest. Hold on to your shins with both hands. On your inhale, squeeze your legs a little closer. On your exhale, arms go straight. On your inhale, pull your legs a little closer. On your exhale, your arms go straight. And then one more time, inhale to bend. And then go right up into your 100 position. Exhale to reach and pump. Inhale, exhale. Legs go up, inhale. Exhale, 45, inhale. Exhale, knees to chest, inhale. Exhale, legs up, inhale. Exhale. 45, inhale, strong pump, chest, inhale, exhale, legs up, inhale, exhale, 45, inhale, exhale, last breath, knees to chest, and lower your head back down, take your feet down to the floor with control, extend your legs to your roll-up position, either partially bent or all the way straight, and bring your arms up toward the ceiling. This time on your inhale, lift your upper body. On your exhale, scoop your tummy and finish the roll up. Inhale, come back down to that same spot. And then exhale to finish, arms stay up. Inhale to lift, head away from spine. Exhale to go up. Big breath into your back as you go back. And then exhale to finish. Three more times, inhale to lift. Exhale to two-way stretch your body. Inhale to come back. We're going to go two more times. You stick with this breath cycle. So this idea of the two-way stretch that we keep talking about can feel different for different people. So I'm just going to keep giving you new ideas like the head pulling away from your spine to try to figure out what that means for you. Leg circles are next. We're going all the way down onto the mat. Arms go down. One leg goes into the air. You exhale and circle and inhale and circle. As you keep alternating breaths for five circles in each direction, keep thinking about what's on the ground. So if the upper body could pull away from the lower half as if you were being pulled by your wrists, while simultaneously the waist reaches down into the legs, that's kind of the idea. Scissor to switch, inhale for one circle, and then exhale to switch. Now this other idea about balancing all the efforts as we're moving in Pilates is another really important one. Reverse, inhale to circle, exhale to circle, inhale to circle, two more circles, 
and we'll keep talking about balancing the efforts. Legs can go down and you can do a full roll up or you can just reach toward your ankles and pull your ankles to you to come into rolling like a ball. Your options are hands behind your legs, hands on the ankles. Inhale, the head goes away from the spine. That's going to rock you back and then exhale, come right back up and stick your balance. Inhale back, exhale up. Make it have that feeling of wee. Two more times for the rolling like a ball or rolling back. Idea is to keep this shape. Here's what it looks like here. And then grab one shin and two way stretching yourself. Make your way all the way down for your single leg. Let's go exhale to pull. Inhale the other leg in. Exhale to reach the other leg. Inhale both legs in. Exhale to reach. Inhale in. Exhale reach. So this idea of staying in the same place with your body on the mat, even as you change your legs back and forth. And when I, when I reach one leg out, my head's going to pull away from that action. Let's go one more on each side for the single leg stretch. Pull your knees into your chest, lower your head, put your feet on the floor, but keep squeezing your legs together. Double leg stretch is going to look a little different today. Reach the arms up toward the ceiling. Take a breath in and on your exhale, draw both legs up towards your chest at the same time. Leave your head on the ground. Inhale to reach your arms and legs up. Circle the arms back. Take an exhale and pull your knees in, but keep squeezing them together. Inhale to lift and exhale to circle. Inhale to lift. Exhale to circle. One more time and then we're going to change the variation. You can keep doing this one if you'd like. Pull your knees in and then lift your upper body. When your arms go over, your feet are going to go to the floor as close to your bottom as possible. Inhale to reach, then use the floor and push off to go exhale. Squeeze the knees together, inhale, push off to go exhale. If you want to take this to a little bit more advanced version, you can reach the legs away from you, but I really like what this gives me in terms of being able to reach my upper body away from my lower half. One more time for whichever variation you're working on, then go right into the single straight leg stretch. Again, that's grabbing onto the back of the thigh, up high near the calf, depending on your flexibility, and lifting your upper body if that suits you. Keep working on the idea of pulling the upper away from the lower, and go one more time for each leg, then pull your knees into your chest, and put one hand on top of the other to put your hands behind your head. Keep pulling your knees in close and squeezing them together. On your inhale, lift your upper body. On your exhale, reach your legs up toward the ceiling. On your inhale, lower the legs to 45. On your exhale, draw the tummy in to bring it back. Everything goes down at the same time. Let's do it again. Inhale to lift the upper body. Exhale to extend the legs and squeeze them together. Inhale to lower your legs as you two-way stretch your upper body. Exhale to bring them back up. And then everything goes down. A couple more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to squeeze and scoop your tummy. Legs only go as low as you're comfortable, and then everything goes back down. One more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale to stretch the legs. Inhale to lower. Exhale to come up. Everything comes down. Leave your knees again where they are, or put them down on the floor right next to you. On your inhale, lift your upper body. On your exhale, twist your upper body one direction or the other. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to lower. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift the upper body. Exhale, twist to the other side. A little harder if the legs are off the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, down. This time when you twist, lift a knee. Inhale, lift. Stay long as you exhale, twist. Inhale to come center. Exhale to lower. Same thing. Long upper body. Head stays away from the spine. Keep pulling yourself in two directions. And then no stopping this time. Inhale to lift the upper body. Exhale, twist one direction. Inhale right over to the other direction. Exhale, twist. Inhale, switch. Two more. Twist. Inhale, switch. Last time, exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Come back to center. Lower your head down and then lower your feet with control. Slide your legs out into your roll-up position again. Reach the arms up toward the ceiling. Put the arms in the sockets. Squeeze the legs together. On your inhale, lift your upper body. On your exhale, scoop your tummy to come all the way up to seated. 
and then come into the spine stretch position with your hands on the shelf. Again, head pulls away from the body as you inhale. On your exhale, the waist pulls back and the body goes forward for the spine stretch. Inhale to come back up. Just two more of those. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Begin walking your feet in so that you feel like you're starting to rock back away from your tailbone and onto your sacrum. And then when you're balanced and you can, pick up both feet right at the ankles and then extend one leg while you balance and then the other leg. A little bit more challenging to go right to two legs today and only as far as you can straighten your leg. No need to try to push it to a range that is not where your knee is right now. If you want to keep working on the balance today, keep working on the balance. Otherwise, you're going to try for a V rocker today. So just like the rolling like a ball, except you're in a different position. Take a deep breath in, let it rock you back. On your exhale, try to come right back up and find your balance. And then go again. Inhale to rock back. You can also repeat the rolling like a ball, but with your hands behind your thighs. Let's go one more. Inhale back. And exhale up. Cross your legs. Come over onto your tummy and lower yourself all the way down for the swan. Hands go in your push-up position, forehead on the floor. On your inhale, lift your upper body and pull yourself forward any amount, and then exhale to go back down. Inhale to pull forward. Maybe help a little bit with your arms, and then exhale to finish. Let's keep the legs squeezing together today. Inhale to lift. And exhale, push yourself back into child's pose, squeezing your knees together and rounding your back. Go right back out to your tummy. Give yourself that fist bump we were talking about. Put your hands out in front of you with a rounded shape in your arms. Then squeeze your tummy up and in so it feels like your pubic bone is pushing into the floor. And then kick one leg in toward your bottom. Kick, kick, switch, kick, kick. Switch, kick, 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 kick. Keep trying to pull your chest up and forward. This is a little bit of a back bend here. So if it would feel more comfortable to you to put your hands underneath your forehead and keep kicking to practice this idea of pulling your stomach up this is a great option in one move push yourself back into your child's pose position and then have a seat on your bottom feet to the front of the mat again hands either outstretched in front of you or back behind your thighs to once again help you roll all the way down with control Bring the feet in a little bit closer, press your arms down by your sides, take an inhale and start to curl the tail up toward the ceiling, and then exhale to come right back down. So let's do it on one breath today. Inhale to lift, and then exhale to lower. Keep reaching your arms toward the foot of your mat. Keep that idea of the whole skull reaching away from the rest of the spine to keep this two-way stretch feeling even though you're laying here on the mat. And we'll go one more time, lift up and hold. Press your whole feet prints down into the floor. Inhale, one leg up, exhale down. Option to extend that leg all the way up to the ceiling and then put it back down. Maybe you draw your knee all the way into your chest and then extend it and knee in and down. So a little bit more hip flexion. We'll get a little bit more of a stretch in the low back perhaps. And then one more time on each side, continuing to reach in two directions. As much as you reach one leg up, the other leg pushes down. A great example of that balancing of the efforts we were talking about. And then roll yourself all the way down. Roll over onto one side for the side kick series. And let's just do three of each. So your legs are in front of you at about a 15 degree angle. Your body is to the back of your mat. Use this bottom arm here to lift your upper body like you're gonna look over your shoulder and then just bend your elbow and rest your head in your hand. Pick up the top leg, let's go exhale forward, inhale, reach it back just to about the corner of your mat. Exhale forward, inhale back. Keep this idea of two-way stretching even though you're in this side line position. Bring the two heels together and now go up and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Turn that leg back into parallel. Pretend someone's pulling it so it stretches this side of you a little bit longer. And circle for three, two, make it nice and smooth. Reverse. Try to smooth out all the edges, the rough edges on the circle. Last time. Then bend your knees into your chest. Push yourself up 
and switch to the other side. Same thing, three for the three. Pick yourself up like you're trying to look over your shoulder. So you're doing it with the strength of your tummy and then place your head in your hand. Lift the top leg up, keep this hand really close to you. Exhale forward, inhale back. Just about the height of, your, of this same hip here. Exhale forward, inhale back, and then all the way up and down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Turn that leg into parallel. Pretend someone's pulling it. Take it slightly behind you. Three circles. Two. The bottom leg is pressing down strong. And reverse. Three. Two. And one. Bring your knees into your chest. Push yourself up to all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Take a deep breath in. Crown of the head forward. Tail goes back on your exhale. Lift one arm in the air. That's your inhale. Put it back down, exhale, other arm, inhale. And as you switch back and forth, see if you can keep everything else from moving, not by holding yourself still and grabbing, but by thinking of this idea of the two-way stretch. So if your antlers were reaching away from where your tail was being pulled, you'd feel that somewhere through your center. And this is what we mean by two-way stretch, is to feel it through your center with an extension through your limbs. One more time to lift one arm. One more time to lift the other arm. Then let's add a leg to this. Inhale, one arm, one leg goes back. Put it back down. And again, you're just seeing how much you can keep yourself in that place by dynamically stretching yourself in two directions. And that's why this breath, that's why this long breathe in so that we can keep you moving in your center. Hands go down, hands under shoulders, step one foot back into the plank, step the other foot back, put one knee down, put the second knee down, keep changing one leg, more two-way stretch to come into your plank. And then let's switch which leg we're starting with. Inhale, one leg, and then maybe the exhale is reserved for the knees. Eyes of the elbows still pointing toward each other, and last time to two-way stretch, you're going to hold your plank in as much as you can and hold your plank, bend your elbows three times, two times, and then the knees go down, you sit back into child's pose. And we'll do that again twice more. Shoulders over hands, step one foot back and then the other. Maybe you're just holding your plank. Again, bend the elbows as much as you can, two times, one time, put the knees down and sit back. Take a deep breath in, come right back to where you started. Again, any amount of bend in the elbows is fine. We'll go three more push-ups. Three and two. Keep your two-way stretch. Knees go down and you sit onto your heels. Round yourself to come up. Have a seat cross-legged. Arms go out and reach. Inhale to lift up and over. Exhale to come back. Inhale to lift up and over, exhale to come back. Inhale to lift up and over, exhale to come back. And last time, and come back. Revisiting the corkscrew and the saw from last time. Feet to the end of your mat, roll all the way down. Once the feet are placed underneath the knees, inhale to let the knees fall, exhale the stomach brings them back. Inhale to let the knees fall, exhale you bring it back. Next variation would be two legs together, heels and feet staying connected. One foot is lifting off the floor as you go from side to side. Next variation would be tabletop position, squeezing the legs together, inhale to reach, exhale to come back. Just setting you up for what corkscrew feels like, a lower body twist with an upper body anchor. Next variation is the legs straight, Keep moving on with these variations or just go back and get the variation where it's clear to you that it's a lower body twist. And then finally, one corkscrew on each side. The legs go to one side. This can also be bent knees. They circle around to the other side and come back. Inhale to tip the legs, exhale to circle. And then grab both of your shins and rock yourself up. Last one we'll do is the saw. Stretch your arms long. Any amount of bend in the knees to help yourself sit tall. Inhale to twist. In just one exhale, reach to the corner of your mat past your foot, looking back at the back corner of your mat. 
Come back up, inhale, twist to the other side. Exhale to saw. Let's go three more times. Inhale to lift, exhale to saw. Inhale, stay lifted, and then round forward. That was one set. Inhale, lift, exhale. Even in this twist position, can your two-way stretch help pull you into that twist and get a little bit more stretch on the opposite side? Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. And we'll go just one more set. Feet stay in place, sit bones stay anchored. Inhale and lift, exhale and twist. And then come on to all fours. Tuck your toes and you're gonna end with a couple of roll downs. Once your hands are close to your feet, drop your head and round your back. Take a breath in and then exhale, round yourself up. When you get there, inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll down again. When you get to the bottom, put your hands down. If that's not possible, bend your knees. Inhale into your back. And exhale, pull the middle of your spine up to round up. We'll go one more time. Inhale at the top, exhale to round down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale to round up. And you are finished. See you tomorrow.